Hey guys, this is Chaos People's Tape, and today you join me on the runway with this cool little craft that got sent to me. Um, I've started taking craft submissions for like Kerbal Wars and just general stuff, and this was sent to me. It's a little buzz bomb. It's a V1 missile, uh, like the Nazis built. So yeah, I thought I'd do some fun with this. Um, I think I have seen something similar to this um, before, maybe like by Scott Manley or something, but I thought this was really cool because it's, um, well, because it was sent to me, and it's a really... It, I th I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good model of it. I like how the engine's placed up here, and it has this new um, BD Armory guidance thing, which guides the missiles so you can go and bomb stuff, and has a weapon manager and things, and actually has a warhead on the front to make it super dangerous. Um, I'm just going to be basically shooting this down, so all of this equipment's pretty irrelevant, but I just really like this. It's a really good... Um, it's a really just really good version of the, Wii, of the V1 missile. It was sent to me by, I think, Derpatron, as we like to call him. Um... <laughs> Or as he likes to be called, or something like that. And yeah, so I'm going to just try and like shoot it down, or do the cool um, the the, um, the thing that Spitfires actually did to take them down, which I'll explain in a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure if my Spitfire, which I've built over here with lots of fire spitter parts, is going to be able to keep pace with this because um, this is using a turbojet and that's using a propeller engine. So we'll get them both in the air and just kind of see. Um, I don't know which one's more stable. Oh my Christ! <laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. Uh, oh, jeez, what's going on here? Okay, it's not going to take off very quickly. Who oh, no! Who oh, knew? No. Okay, that's a Spitfire in the air. Let's get the V1 in the air. Oh, the V1 takes off by itself. That is really nice. Um, oh, this will... De okay, right, the Spitfire might definitely be able to keep pace with the uh, V1 then. Because um, this has been all tweak scaled down to be a proper size. Well, I think it will just keep gaining speed. Oh, shit, I forgot the Spitfire's... <laughs> I <laughs> just left it going towards the ground. Yeah, so, um, Derpatron has used many a part. He's used BD Armory, I think, Tweak Scale. Um, and then, I think, Adjustable Landing Gear or Fire Spitter. Yeah, it's Fire Spitter for all this stuff. Um, which is pretty cool. I, uh, oh shit, Jesus, I've really gotta be better at this. Um, but yeah, the V1 was actually, um, a real missile that the Nazis used to fire at Britain. Um... It was obviously before the V2, which was a real missile, but this is more of a plane, obviously. I guess it made it easier to do its thing. Um, okay, that's going. How fast is it going? Oh, really fast. Yeah, I'm going to throttle it down, or I'm just not going to be able to catch it, because my Spitfire tops out way slower than that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to freaking catch it now. All right, I'm just going to have this going that way. Um, I'll just hopefully gain... Yeah, it looks like I am gaining on them. Um, I'll try and get this flattened out and then just slow it down. I didn't really plan for the speeds, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty speedy little missile. And uh, the V1 was originally called the Buzz Bomb because of the noise it would make as it was about to impact the ground, I think. Um, basically, it worked um, by... Uh, basically, they figured out the... Um, I think it just was pretty much a timer, a timed fuse. Um, so they figured out the distance and the speed uh, it would take to get to their desired location. And then it would shut off, dive at the ground, and explode, because it carried a warhead. Um, I don't think it actually used a turbo jet, since uh, that would be a little um, surprising in World War II. But I'm not sure, actually, I'm actually not sure what propulsion system it used. Um, that's one of the things I'm not sure about. Um, but one of the interesting things they did to take, it, uh, take down a V1 wasn't just shoot it with the guns, which I do have a few guns, if I can find them. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be Team A. Um, yeah, I have some Vulcan turrets. Uh, Spitfires didn't intend to actually shoot... The fuck? Oh, it's on guard mode. Why? What? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Spitfires actually didn't tend to shoot down V1s, because then you've got a big, like, like uh, cloud of debris that's probably going to hit you. Um, they actually used to just, like, hit, well, knock their wings with their wings to make them turn away from the target, because they were dumb fire missiles, basically. They'd just basically fly in the right direction and then just try and hit the target. Um, so they would actually just, like, knock their wings so they'd fly off into the um, seagull. Although I don't think they actually touched wings, because that would be really stupid. They actually um, put their wings just below the um, V1's wings so the air current would lift their wings and uh, knock it off course. But I'm going to try shooting it down first. I might try the other thing later. Um, and, oh, I like these cockpits. I like how, uh, that's who I'm fighting for. Fighting for my wife. Fighting for the, f fighting for the waifu. Um, oh, I am a guy. Oh, it's Jeb. Jeb and I are coming. 
Um, I guess this must be a relatively new... Oh yeah, it's a brand new save. Because this is actually the save I've been looking at all my uh, stuff I've been sent to fly. Um, yeah, I did do a video on where you can send your... Uh, where you can send your craft. I think this was actually sent to my main email address because we talked about it earlier before I'd actually made the whole video about send it here, which is tape gaming at outlook.com, I think. Um, you should just send it there and I'll take a look at it. I've had a ridiculous amount of responses, but this one was just quite, I don't know, quite unique. Um, and I really like the V1. So yeah, I actually do freaking use people's crafts for stuff now. Wow, this is really hard. Oh, nailed him! Oh, I think I hit something. Yeah! Hell, what did I get? Well, I think I nailed the engine. Nice. Let's try and, uh... The Hail Mary pass! Wait, surely... Wait, surely that's just debris. Oh no, that's the actual main bit of the craft. Um, I must have nailed the, uh, probe body. Yep. Um... Okay. Yeah, uh, oh shit. I'm try trying to pull this back. Incidentally, I think Spitfire's only carried about 14 seconds of um, ammo, so they could... Oh shit, it's doing a loop! Oh my god, it almost hit me! <laughs> That'd have been great if it just nailed me. There we go. Alright. Um, I guess revert to launch, maybe? Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, it's just quite a fun thing to do, shoot down things like this. I do this all the time with like big bombers. I think I've done like two videos on it before. Um, but yeah, the V1's quite an interesting... Well, that's quite an interesting idea for a missile and for a thing to shoot down. All right. Um, and it's really well built. I like how the guy built it. Uh, Derpatron, I think. was. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting that. Um, I just like quite like how it's... Um, how it just takes off by itself and it does its own thing. It actually does have a guidance system. Far more sophisticated than the uh, one on the actual V1. But, uh, you know, still pretty awesome. Anyway, we'll let that get up to speed. I'll just do some crazy loops with my uh, Spitfire, which is actually a pretty accurate representation since it has, um, well, not that accurate, but I meant, uh, like, the guns, um, the 20 millimeter fixed cannons, actually, as the uh, Spitfire has, and I think it actually can fire its guns for about 14 seconds, which is um, pretty accurate. Uh, well, pretty accurate to the actual Spitfire. Um, dun, 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 dun. I actually want to make a video, I want to, well, we were thinking as, uh, we were thinking about a follow-ups to, um, collaborative warfare, and I said World War II, and I mean, I think Beardy Penguin's thinking more about, like, really cool space battles, and I was thinking World War II space battles, we make some, uh, Spitfire space planes, and have battles with them, how cool would that be? Um, although I think it's maybe a little premature to be thinking about sequels to, um, collaborative warfare given how long it takes to do anything. I reckon this is probably going on for a long time. But anyway, um, let's catch up with this now and go shoot it down some more because it's fun to shoot things down. Um, why won't you die? Yeah, you want to fire in short bursts with a Spitfire because, uh, uh, well, because you don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, this was incidentally made using almost entirely fire spitter parts. And these are actually biplane wings, but they look quite good, so I use them for the Spitfire. Um, and this is actually, well, it's not a, obviously not an amazing model. It's quite hard to actually build things perfectly in KSP, but I think it looks reasonably good. Like, if you saw that, you'd be like, yeah, that's a Spitfire. I also built a Messerschmitt, a Messerschmitt for a different video I was going to do, which never really worked out, so yeah. Maybe I could turn the V1 against me on, like, guard mode, and it would, like, turn around and try and nuke me. Um, so yeah, we've got to stop this going back to Blighty and killing all our people in London. Um, because... It's a pretty effective way of delivering bombs, actually, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Slow down. I've got to level up. I keep swiping across, and that's actually not very a great way of doing it. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was most of my ammo. <laughs> that was the main problem with uh, doing dog... I was going to do a dogfight thing with a bunch of, with like, a bunch of aircraft and a, a bunch of Spitfires and Messerschmitts, but they all fire off their ammo too quickly, so didn't really work. Although I might revisit that, as I'm sure people will be asking me to do it now I've mentioned it. <laughs> Never tell people your plans. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not going to be able to take this down. I'm totally going to take this down. Shut up. You cannot defeat me, Derpatron. But yeah, as I said, you can send me more aircraft or spacecraft. I've had a few things for um, Kerbal Wards, which is always awesome. I do love... People seem to... Assume that um, I'm going to want crafts because I don't want to build stuff. I freaking love building stuff. That's like 80% of KSB for me. But I do like to have things built for me. Um, 
because it's quite good and especially in Kerbal Wars where like they do take a long time to make those videos sometimes it can be really good to just have other people design it and interesting because then I don't know how the intricacies of the air of the spacecraft I guess but uh, I like doing these kind of videos um, and I ooh and this is ooh shit oh, okay fucking just kamikaze I know he's dead but oh I missed <laughs> I'm gonna try and try and him try and try and kamikaze this um, I know I'm on I know I'm the British we weren't big on kamikaze uh, warfare in there World War Two, but you know, seemed to work. Pearl Harbor. Okay. <sighs> seems kind of foolish though, Kamikaze. Like in general, surely it's just more effective to bring the plane back and reload it. I know it's like an honor thing, but it's dumb as fuck. Uh, oh my god. Although I guess a plane does make a pretty effective missile. Uh, okay, right. Well, I'm probably not going to hit that. And what did I do? Damaged. Oh, that's all just a wheel. Oh yeah, I just stripped off the engine again. That usually seems to be what... I guess it's really easy to shoot off the engine because the engine's getting really hot anyway, so... Anyway, I want to try the other thing now. I want to try and knock its wings. Oh no! I mean, I reverted the space plane hangar, which isn't great. I wanted to revert to launch. But yeah, you can see how it's been built. This is actually a skid thing that's actually in um, Fire Spitter. Uh, these are scaled down parts. It's quite nice. These are even more scaled down. Uh, this is scaled up, I think. And that's just a normal size, and then just standard wings. Um, I imagine it's just totally aerodynamically stable. Yeah, you can see it's just pretty much perfectly stable. Very well built, actually. Like I've got, I've, I've had a lot of aircraft which are really, uh, really interesting. But I noticed a lot of them actually use. Um, this does have a reaction wheel, actually, but that's because it's autonomous, I guess. A lot of them do overuse reaction wheels, and you know, you can make stuff aerodynamically stable and save weight by not including reaction wheels. Just, uh, just saying. Um, and I, ooh, there's some sort of decoupler. Oh, cool. Oh, those are supposed to break, oh no, they're not supposed to break off. That's just a, what? Are those supposed to break off? <laughs> what? 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 I guess maybe, um. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to break off after launch. Oh, that's cool. I really he scaled back some uh, decouplers. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, one of the things that in oh sh why do I always do that? Yeah, one of the things that impresses me if you send me an aircraft is if it's just aerodynamically stable by itself. I mean, I like all the all oh shit. I like all the aircraft I've been sent, even if they are like laden with reaction wheels, because as long as they work, that's cool. But making an aerodynamically stable aircraft is actually not that much of a challenge. Um, well, it's, I guess it can be a challenge if you're going for aesthetics. Um, I'm going to actually take the brakes off this time. Yeah, crazy days. Uh, but, you know, it's just a matter of messing around with wings. And, ooh, shit. Um, oh, my God. And one of the good cheats if your uh, center of lift is too far back is just to turn your canards up a little bit. See you later, wheels. Oh, look, they're still going. Oh. Yeah, the one of the best cheats for... Um, uh, for moving your center of lift is just to angle your like front canards up a bit and that'll move it way more. It'll add a little bit of drag but it'll um, just create uh, like an upward motion which will make your aircraft more stable which is always good. Dun 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 dun! I was right next to it, that was perfect. I'm perfect. <laughs> That's gonna go much faster than me though. I do like how it does kind of look like a missile as well. Oh shit. It's kind of like a cruise missile of some kind. This does, I think, about 110, and then this does about 100, so it's not... Oh, should have built a faster Spitfire. Damn it! Okay, we'll throttle this down. Oh, it's doing 120, Jesus. My, actually, my, oh no, my Spitfire is definitely not keeping pace with it anymore. Uh, okay, right, that's that's doing its job. I'll just catch up with it. Full hover. Yeah, it's slowing down now. That's good. It's good. But yeah, the whole point of, I guess, tipping uh, the aircraft with your wings is it doesn't create a big cloud of debris to destroy your aircraft and kill you. Oh, well, this is going terribly. <laughs> you can see the engine does overheat quite a lot. It's only actually requiring 2.5 kilonewtons of thrust to keep this in in uh, in flight. So, also, if you want to impress me, do something cool with aerodynamics, which means you hardly have to do any... I know I'm being like, impress me! But yeah, I just send me stuff. I like being sent stuff, no matter what it is. But this is actually very impressive, just... It's an engineering marvel. How much does this weigh, do you suppose? Uh, 
it weighs a, just literally one ton. Very nice. That's why it requires like hardly any thrust to keep it in, in flight. It's a skyrocket in flight. It's an afternoon delight. Yeah, it's just an impressive aircraft. This is one of the things that really jumped to me. Anyway, I know I'm just talking about how impressive that is. Although I have received some pretty cool aircraft, some that use infernal robotics like fold wings away. Build a transformer, then I'll show it. Yo, if someone builds me a transformer, that'd be great. Actually, then I would probably just have to use it in collaborative warfare, even though it's against the rules. Um, <laughs> okay, we've got to get right behind it. Actually, it's probably best not to get right in its jet stream, but uh, we've got to get right up to it, and then uh, just just go alongside it. Yeah. Oh, you, there's actually a air intake on here. I know these aren't supposed to need uh, air to like burn, but uh, apparently it didn't really work without it. So I have actually cheated a little bit there. But yeah, it's a, this is a pretty simple aircraft. Easy to construct once you have fire spitter. Okay, throttling back a little more. Coming up on the V1. I've done. I think I may have actually done. No, whenever I've tried to do this sort of thing, it always goes badly. Like when I tried to ram a bomber, it went pretty, pretty poorly. Pretty poorly. Doing it for my woman. Because she's back in London. I don't know why I'm flying behind the V1 from Germany, but uh, I'm a double agent who brought my Spitfire to like... Did you arrive on a Spitfire? I was like, no, nah, that's just... Just a... Uh, I, I, it's just a normal plane. Looks a lot like a Spitfire. Did you just fly from Britain? No, I'm not a double agent. <laughs> Actually, I probably won't get thrown back that much by this engine because it's providing like no thrust. I mean, this is providing twenty, about ten times the uh, ten times the thrust to keep this in the air. Okay, right, we're right behind it now. Coming up on the V1. Roger that, sir. We got a Tango Alpha Bravo or something military sounding. We are coming up on the uh, B-1 missile. We're gonna hit it with our wing. We're gonna smack it in the face. In its stopad face. Cause it's um, just our stopad baby. So yeah, if you haven't seen... <laughs> haven't watched any uh, Jason Steele stuff, you won't uh, understand a lot of my jokes, but... Oh, it looks so cool! Look how sleek that looks! I know I've just spent most of this video saying this looks awesome, but it does. Aesthetics are what I go for. If you send me something that looks awesome, it's probably going to impress me more than if it's practical. But if it's practical and awesome, I don't know. Just send me a bunch of V1s. Just No, don't everyone send me V1s. That would be crazy. But I am actually pretty blown away by the, um, like, the response I got. Like, how many like craft I've had sent to me so quickly. It's really awesome, so thanks to everyone who sent me craft. Even if I don't show them in a video, it's still like, really appreciated. Although I am actually going to try and get like a bunch in like a big dogfight video, because so many people have sent me fighters, I might just have a giant free-for-all dogfight. Uh, <laughs> okay, coming up on on the tango. In fairness, this is going pretty well. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm the best in the world at this, but I'm the... Oh, nailed it. That was... Okay, shit. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm the best at aerial rendezvous, but oh my god, look at this shit. And now it's back on course. And now it's not going to fuck up Britain. Crash into the water. Seriously, I love this Spitfire. Spitfire. Is it? Yeah, Spitfire. I, I only just got why... Uh, like, I was making this aircraft a couple days ago. I was uh, thinking, ah, all these fire spitter parts are so useful for Spitfires. I was like... Oh my god, fire spitter! Oh my god, spitfire! Oh my god! Anyway, yeah, this will ultimately crash into the ocean. So, uh, <laughs> that's good. Good for me. Anyway, but before it gets to the ocean, let's shoot it the fuck down. Dun 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 I don't know why I'm going so crazy. But yeah, no, I actually don't need my guns. I'm not going to bother shooting it down. Because you can see, I've knocked it right off course. I actually did hit it three times. But I was so impressed at how easily I was, like, doing aerial rendezvous stuff that it was awesome. So, yeah, um, this has been actually really fun. Just, like, aerial rendezvous, surprisingly fun. And now this hits the ocean, and Britain is safe from the Nazis. Yo, welcome, Britain. Jeez. Oh, and actually nuked the ocean. That explosion effect was actually the nuke on the end. So, uh, 
I fucked up some fish. Um, hopefully not where we fished in Britain. That'll be really bad. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I uh, hope you'll like leave it a like or something, unless you like the Nazis, and then of course you wouldn't like it. But uh, everybody else should totally like it, unless you uh, hate America and Britain and things. Obviously, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. But yeah, if you'd like some aircraft um, or spacecraft or I guess tanks or watercraft or if you think of another thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, we got liquid craft, aircraft, ground craft, and spacecraft. If you can think of a fifth kind of craft, that'll be pretty cool. Um, I guess amphibious vehicle. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. This is amphibious as fuck. Watch this. Uh, it's probably not amphibious. I should probably pull up more. But uh, yeah, so I you can send it uh, send stuff to teepgaming at uh, outlook.com, and then I'll take a look at it. Maybe use it. I've got like a bunch of craft sent to me already. They're all loaded up on the save. I take a look at everything I get sent, just because I like looking at stuff. And if it's good, I'll use it, and if it's, like, not good, I might still use it in my crazy dogfight I have planned, or just other stuff. Um, but yeah, just, just you know, and if you have put mods in it, that's fine, just send me a list of mods you use, just makes it easier on me. Um, although I often do try to figure out how to, uh, how to, um, like, figure out the mods. Although the, uh, the guy also sent me, I think, like a B2 or something, I couldn't figure out, there was one mod I just couldn't figure out. And it wasn't in the email, so I'm not sure. But yeah, if you want to send me stuff for Kerbal Wars or just general stuff, as I've said, tapegaming at outlook.com. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.